So let's learn about the object oriented programming in PHP. So with that, I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where you can learn various things from Laravel to view to this PHP oops. So if you are new, consider subscribing and don't forget to like Bitfumes on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. So the question comes in my mind, what is oops? That means object oriented programming. So before that, let's see how this object came from. You can see we have this data types and these data types are divided into two basic categories called primitive and the structure. So primitive have these three that means a string, boolean, integer and obviously there are much more like float and etc. But the structure has object and array. This is we have to study and actually this object type is going to be used in object oriented programming. But how these things work? So firstly what is object? As you can see anything, anything can be called as a object. From an object you can have many information like this Football, if you can see, this football has many functions, many characteristics, and obviously they have some data about itself. Like you have some aeroplane, you can see here we have an aeroplane. So obviously this aeroplane has some behavior, and obviously it has some attribute or some data which defines the aeroplane, like the size of the aeroplane, like the speed of the aeroplane, like the color of the aeroplane, the company and various things. So these are the attributes or the data which defines the property of this aeroplane. Whereas its behavior is to fly, okay? Its behavior is to take the passengers from one place to another place. So it's just like its function. So you can see we have anything which is can be called as an object and all the object can have some functions and some attributes okay so let's see what is actually object oriented programming so as we have seen that anything can be object likewise in programming world anything can be created as a object and this object oriented programming is actually a methodology and what is methodology methodology is you can think about it like style of creating your code or managing your code okay so how this works actually object oriented programming try to divide your big problem or a big project into small chunks of the classes a class is just the collection of attribute and the functions it can have. So if you have taken an instance or you can simply say a copy of the class, then it will called an object. And obviously we have decided that object can have variable or the attribute and it can has a function or the methods. Okay. Similarly, what this class contain, we have seen that class contains properties and functions and these properties are used by functions and variables also okay so this is actually the object oriented system of creating the programming and here we always create a class and this is because we want to divide our program into reusable codes Okay, here we define one function and that one function can be used many times. Okay, this is a great approach which is used to minimize working time of the programmer. Okay, so why we need OOPS? What is its advantage? So if you are using an object oriented programming system, then your code can be reusable your codes have a clear structure that means you can manage these codes very very efficiently the codes become simple to read simple to write and simple to manage and obviously as i have told you easy to maintain and these 
things are extremely important when you are creating a project because every time project can be scaled up okay so you have to add the functionality to your codes if your code is not easy to maintain it's not reusable or it's not simple to actually use then you will have a hard time in adding the great new functionality so in that case object oriented programming is extremely useful okay so what this includes obviously as I told you it include the classes and that class we will take as an instance called object classes can be inherited and there can be abstraction of these there are magic methods and polymorphism and much more but we will cover each and everything in the object oriented world so with that if you have any doubt in any of my video or in your project if you want my help I'm ready to help you you can comment me you can message me you can email me also and don't forget to like bitfumes on Facebook Twitter and Instagram if you have learned something you can donate one dollar or more on patreon.com to help me so that I will continue to create these great videos for you only okay so we will meet in the next episode of Oop. Till then, goodbye.